All right, hello, Nella Industries. Uh, we're here with Lab 8. Uh, it's the Drew Paul 2 lab. Um, for technical reasons, I was struggling to open up uh, my Reclaim hosting websites, including my WordPress, my Grav, and my, my Drew Paul site. It must have something to do with me coming home and doing it on my home network at my permanent residence that I lived at all my life. Uh, compared to the one that I used at school up in State College. So unfortunately, I was not able to uh, do the lab. It's just the way it was, couldn't figure it out. I also emailed on Friday night, trying to figure out if there's anything I could do. Um, worst comes to worst, I just come back after school and uh, do it on my free time, just so I have the Drupal page set up and uh, ready to go. Um, but otherwise, uh, I guess we can begin talking about one of the topics so I can at least get some points back. And uh, that topic that we're gonna talk about today is something that many, many developers across all different languages should understand. And that is cores, otherwise known as cross-origin resource sharing. So a lot of what this is in simple layman fifth grade terms is actually explained in the phrase of which cores is uh, you're sharing content or files or something any sort of content resource anything you can think of from one domain one origin one place you're borrowing it sharing it pulling it from another source so what cores allows you to do is take different http headers websites whatever you want to call them domains and it allows you to request for information, data from one domain, which might be a secondary domain to your main domain that you're working on. Uh, here's a graphic of what that would look like. As you see, uh, you know, our web, our web service, our web document, our web application is domain A. And uh, the image here comes from domain A, the page is domain A, everything is within domain A. But there is an image that I think will enhance my site and will enhance my page, but I don't wanna just slap it on my page. I'm gonna to have to pull it from another domain, whether it be something that I own or you get permission from another page. You yank it from that other page and are able to put it on your site. You request it from the second server, the second domain. Uh, the second origin and you put it onto your website so you can display that content and it's transferring data across servers across browsers across the network so this is incredibly important because it adds an extra level of interconnectivity between two domains multiple domains multiple people multiple businesses multiple corporations multiple servers it just allows for users and content to be more accessible and more widely viewed amongst our users. And as I said earlier, you can see on this website, web administrators, server developers, front end, anybody using a modern browser that is developing and it's a good developer and is trying to better themselves and, and grow as a developer, needs to understand uh, what cross-origin resource sharing is um, and things that can be shared uh, data. We're a data driven world. It's 2020. All my viewers out there, everybody viewing this knows that data is the lifeline and is becoming almost the blood of all organizations, all, especially as we move digitally, but just anything. Data is so important to be able to go back to or be able to share in order to better educate yourself, inform yourself, drive content, things like that. You can also share different fonts and different CSS styles and style sheets, uh, different shapes and images and videos and just text in general. Uh, you can share that across uh, different domains and different HTTP requests can be made for stuff like that. Um, and we'll just allow you to pull stuff from other sites to build up your content and drive eyes to your content and enhance your content. Um, so here's what the code would look like. Get, head, post. Those, when I see that, I think of things like you want something. You're going to go get it. I'm going to get 
this image from another page. I'm going to post this image from another page. Uh, it's just pretty self-explanatory code-wise on why you would use these sorts of uh, these sort of semantics and these sort of requests and conditions and methods. Um, you have other things, save data, downlink, uh, accept language. It's all about going from client to server, client to client, server to server. It's all about grabbing resources from other domains and other places and, uh, and putting it onto your page or requesting it to be on your page. So that is essentially cores in a nutshell for those who maybe don't understand what courses are having trouble understanding. There's tons of websites. Here's another one that I pulled up that this one is incredibly detailed. This is what I use to actually sort of understand it better myself. What courses, what cross words and resource sharing is. Um, it's just a great and powerful tool and powerful method, idea, strategy that all developers and all people working with servers, sort of back end, front end things, trying to build content, trying to present content, trying to maintain content, need to understand because it's going to allow you to enhance everything you're doing and draw content data, whatever, from different places to better yourself and make your life easier. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope I, you understand cores a little bit easier. This has been Noah Industries. Thank you.